Hi everybody, and welcome to this video. I'm going to be doing something a little more unconventional today. I'm going to be doing both an experiment and a teaching video in the same go, because the reaction we're doing today is pretty important. Its name is... bum ba da bum Saponification! Yay! Also known as base catalyzed ester hydrolysis. We're going to start by doing the experiment, and then at the end I'm going to go over the mechanism, why it works, and why you need to know it. Without further ado, let's begin the experiment. You'll need wintergreen oil, which is 90% methyl salicylate, sodium hydroxide pellets, and 20% hydrochloric acid. Now, let's see the chemistry. First, 6.25 grams of sodium hydroxide is dissolved in 20 milliliters of distilled water with stirring. Next, 10 milliliters of wintergreen oil is added in. A white cruddy precipitate immediately forms. Flask is then transferred to the heating mantle and refluxed for 30 minutes, over the course of which the precipitate dissolves, forming a slightly yellow solution. The reaction mixture is then poured from the 100 milliliter flask into a 250 milliliter beaker, allowed to cool, then diluted with 40 milliliters of water. 30 milliliters of 20% hydrochloric acid is then added with stirring. This precipitates salicylic acid, and the process is quite exothermic owing to the presence of some leftover sodium hydroxide. The slurry is transferred from the beaker to a filter, al along with some ice-cold water to wash everything. The solid cake is then pressed dry. This gives a crude product, which is a white, fluffy, damp solid. The solid is then transferred to a 500 milliliter beaker and taken up with about 250 milliliters of boiling water. A microwave is used to aid in this dissolution process. All of it dissolves, and there is no need for filtration if the solution is perfectly clear. The solution is allowed to cool and crystallize overnight, during which time needles of salicylic acid precipitate. The needles of salicylic acid are filtered off and washed with ice water. After overnight air drying and low temperature drying in an electric heater, we obtain 9.62 grams of salicylic acid crystals, which corresponds to approximately a 90.5% yield. The melting point is in a range between 158 and 161 degrees Celsius, which is pretty accurate, and is within my measuring error. Now that you've seen the reaction, let's learn a little bit about how it works, shall we? So, here's the mechanism we're going to be looking at today. This is the mechanism of saponification for methyl salicylate as we just did in the lab. So now, I'll take a brief moment to explain each step and why it works. So we pulled out the pointer. Now let's, get, let's begin. So in the leftmost step, the nucleophilic hydroxide anion attacks the carbonyl of methyl salicylate, opening it, forming the, tetrahedral interme the second tetrahedral intermediate. The tetrahedral intermediate's nucleophilic oxygen then kicks off methoxide, which you can see on the equation, forming salicylic acid which then gives up its proton to the basic methoxide anion, forming the salicylate anion. An acidic workout gives the product. So that was pretty painless, eh? So I'm going to now explain why you're going to need this reaction. Saponif so saponification has a few uses. It's used to make soaps, as the name implies. Most, fat most triglycerides, actually all triglycerides, will undergo the reaction in the manner that I showed in the lab, giving sodium salts of fatty acids, or soaps. It's also used in fire extinguishers to put out oil fires, because 
it turns the burning oil into non-flammable soap, which is kind of an interesting thing. So those are a few uses of saponification. Oh, and just a final closing note. So this is actually the method that I use to get my salicylic acid most of the time. I either buy it or I make it from methyl salicylate because wintergreen oil is cheaper than aspirin and the pharmacies near me only sell weak aspirin con only sell the weak aspirin tablets, not the full strength ones. So it's much easier to just make it from wintergreen oil like you saw here. Thanks for watching. Bye and have a nice day.